Oh my God! Whoa, boy! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. This is day one, full day one, because yesterday we got in a little late, uh, just cruised the coast, show my mom, you know, what to expect. We got a lot of days here, a lot of footage to get, a lot of fun things, memories to make, all that good stuff. The weather has been uh, incredible to say, I guess. I um, feel like it's raining every day. And then they'll say it's storming all day the next day. Then you wake up and it's gone. It's Florida though, so what do you expect? But well, we do have a new helmet here. New setup, so I hope everything sounds crispy. You can only hope doing these moto vlogs. I'm out here shooting shots on these people, sorry about that just a lot been going on behind the scenes you know weather's been not permitting I mean it's been 30 degrees every day so can't really go out get some videos so hopefully this breaks the cycle of terrible weather and no footage because man I'm trying to get back into this stuff man a lot of stuff mentally too but we don't really don't need to get into that just going through a lot never feel good enough all that good stuff but there's no need to get sappy here it's good good vibes here ready have a good time the ride up was crazy got us storming and long drive from maryland i will tell you that i did get a few new things before i came down here because i got uh gloves armored uh like underlining pants i tried the mbt pants they were just they didn't fit well But uh, I sent those back and just went with these. I mean, they're not as good, but they're definitely better than absolutely nothing. So I'm cool with that. How could I forget about the mirrors and all that? So I did the last video, which you haven't seen that. That's going up in the cards above. I did the uh, little things here. I went with the cheaper set because I didn't know if I liked it or not. But I actually really do. Uh, the lever guards. Then I went with these kind of the stealth mirrors. Went with a cheap set because again, I'm not spending $400 on something that I don't like. But I did find a cheapo set. Uh, so they're on the way. Hopefully get them while we're down here because I'd like to use them a little bit. I like these, but I don't like that there's two, um, two points of screws like here and here. So there's two points of failure. I don't like that. So we're going to definitely um, go with the other ones because it's only one point, which I like that. Less points you got, less to fail, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is day one. I'm not really too sure what we're getting into. We are going to head to the racetrack where they got all the test drives and vendors. So to get out of my system you know we went to main street last night and my god was it incredible and the amount of people you can fit on a little road <laughs> is crazy so we'll resume this once we get to the uh, racetrack and we will see you there well guys i hope the camera angle is good i had to change my uh had to change my mount up because it was blocking my visor but today, we're doing some test drives. We got three booked today. We got BMW, then Suzuki, then Kawasaki. I don't like this clutch release at all. So we are on an M1000R. It's pretty cool to say I've done this. It's a bike I looked at. You know, it's just very expensive. You know what I mean? I just can't afford it right now. Maybe later in life.
whoa i don't really know what to expect you know i, I mean it's a naked bike i have a naked bike but it is uh like galaxies apart from mine so last year i did a s1000r it's pretty cool to be doing an m1000r now can't find neutral on it cool all good This thing's cool with all the winglets and stuff on a naked bike. That's crazy. This clutch release is like ridiculous high. Not a huge fan of that. But, um. It's a Beamer. That tends to be the issue with Beamers. Oh, I feel so good to have a quick shifter. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. It was amazing having a quick shifter. Some Brembo brakes. Oh my god. I'm spoiled out here. Like I don't feel out of place on this bike at all. I mean this this bike feels really good. I, I like the seating position. I'm just trying to compare it to my bike because it is a naked bike as well. So but uh, I do like the seating position. The wind is not that bad. I mean, I, I'm so used to it now, I'm kind of numb to the fact that I'm getting beat with wind at whatever mile an hour you're going. Yeah, the torque on this thing is just incredible. From the little bit that I just drove it, oh my god. This guy's a madman, I love it, I love it. This quick shift is feeling real good. And it's got blip too. It is pretty cool to drive a competition. God, I do not like this clutch release. That's, that's just tremendous. I always got to roll the camera. You never know. You could be going from test driving a bike to uh, getting hit on a test drive. Man, thankfully the rain stopped. We got here and it was pouring. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to get on my bike and not know how to ride anymore. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. This thing shifts so fast. Oh my god, I'm not used to that. Oh, this thing would be fun on a back road. Oh my goodness. I'm just speechless right now. Oh my god. Uh, I I'm trying to remember what the next one. Oh, it's Suzuki and I'm riding a Busa. Yeah, boy. I'm doing all the big bikes today. I tried to do the S1000 double R, but you know, everybody in Florida wants to ride that bike, so. Which it's all good. Uh, I'm here for a long time, so. I'll, uh, I'll let the people get it. I do want to ride it at least one time, so. I know this isn't our only day for test drives. So while I'm doing test drives, I'm going to rate them. This bike, I'm going to give it a nine and a half. The only half that's missing is it's not mine. You know what I mean? Oh my God, did you hear that? Oh, goodness. You know, that's one thing I do like about BMW. It's for both brands. The bikes and the cars, they, they have the same packages. You know what I mean? You can get a competition on a car, and you can get competition on a motorcycle. Oh, I remember this route. We're going to get on the highway, and oh boy, is that going to be fun. 
All right, let's get it. See what we can do here. That thing, oh, oh, that thing about to rip my arms out. Oh my god, that thing pulls crazy. Oh, this thing feels good. Oh my god. A crazy turn. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh. I cannot imagine this thing over 8,000 RPMs. That's just to the break-in cycle when they have it at eight. And whoa. Oh my God. BMW, what are you doing to me? So we'll be pulling up here soon. We got to get right on over to the, um, what time is it? 2.41? No way, it's 2.41. No way. I don't even know what time we have our Kawasaki thing at. I mean, Suzuki. I don't even know. Who is this guy? You're not a BMW. What are you doing in here? But we're going to resume this when we get to Suzuki. We got a 20. I don't even know what year they are. 3, 4. Uh, Busa. So we will resume when we get there. All right. So here we are. On a 20. Who knows? 20, 20 something. Hey, you know what? I do like Suzuki's a lot. I do. I like them so much I have one. E I'm so funny. Hopefully my mic's all good. Not stressing me out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I've never rode a uh, 14R, so I have no prior experience, but I can tell you, this thing's like a big old chair, man. I think it's just a really fast recliner, you know what I mean? It's not as bad as I thought. I went in real nervous. Shout out to Suzuki, though, for letting them... Uh, letting us ride a Busa, because I know Kawasaki don't have the 14R. Or to 14. That's why Suzuki's a goat. I don't know. They really have been aggravating me lately with the with the bikes they've been putting out. Like, why? Why are you doing the things you're doing? Looks like inline fours are going to be a thing of the past. Just got to learn to love twins. God, I'm not used to this clutch point. The BMW is out there. What's up with Suzuki, man? Like, my bike... I feel like is a great clutch release. Um, oh, this thing sounds so good. It's pretty cool I get to ride with my stepdad this time. Last time he was like a couple bikes in front of me. And he was in a whole different group. Look at him. He's over there cranking the throttle on that thing. What is he doing? Man, this thing is just comfortable. It really is. At first, I'm like, oh no, sport bike. But, uh, that's a little bit different of a route. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you what my stepdad's driving. He is driving a, uh, GSX S1000 GT. Which I think those are probably like one of the coolest Suzuki's out right now. Oh my god! So I guess they try to take off from underneath me. Oh my god! I'm on some fast bikes today, boy. It's crazy how they have so many manufacturers down here, and they're all like run at the same times. They just all got their own special route. I think it's pretty cool. You know, 
I was always like nervous doing uh, bigger bikes like this, but I can say, yeah, I can only speak on Suzuki because I've never driven a 14 or anything like that. Um, but man, you do not feel this weight when you're driving. I didn't really feel the weight when we're turning. It's just I'm not used to a sport bike. It's much different. Much, much different. But I'm not I'm not opposed to it at all. I just have to get used to it. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to rate this bike. I'm going to rate it at a... A 9. I feel like I rated the M1000R a little too high. I'm going to redo my... I'm going to redo it. I'm going to redo it. Redo, redo. I'm going 9 on the M... Nine and a half on the Busa. The only reason this gets a half more point, yeah, I know the M it would be torquier and faster and all that's jazz. But I can just say, for long trips, I can see me on a Busa over M one thousand R any day. Um, that's the only reason I say that is because I can just see like the, like the longevity of it. I can definitely see me using the Busa more. I'm gonna say nine and a half for sure. Sorry, I get a little sidetracked on here. Kind of forget what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna say nine and a half just because I can see myself driving this for a long time and going on like long trips with it. I feel like the M1000 is uh, just a track bike, and I mean, it might be fun, comfortable, but I don't know. I just feel like you'd get uncomfortable fast on it. Uh, I'll resume this when we get back to the uh, back to the place. All right, so it is day two. We're uh, getting here a little earlier, trying to get some more test rides in today. So I know we jumped the day, and you're probably wondering, you only got two test drives in yesterday? No, we actually got three, and it was Yamaha. And I just really didn't like how they treated me. Yeah, they told me I couldn't record. I mean, that's whatever. That's kind of protocol, but I don't know. They were very by the book and strict, so we're not going to go back there. Not really anything interests me. Uh, I drove an MT-10. By far my worst test drive I've ever been on. Uh, the bike just seemed very clunky, like it was thrown together fast. I don't know what it was, but quick shift didn't work the best. Up or down, like bike just felt like it was dead until it got higher up in rpms which i guess that's the cross plane but i'm not i'm not interested in that bike one bit and i'm not going back to yamaha while we're down here we're gonna try to get some more um some different ones i know we're gonna do bmw i'd really like to get on a uh s1000 double r to kind of finish off because i did the single last year and then I did the M1000 yesterday so doing an S1000 double R just be like the icing on the cake but I know it's a hot piece so I gotta get there early and do the test drive for later I guarantee you but uh yeah we will see y'all on the first test drive so we're in something a little different here uh in a little uh slingshot I drove one of these uh, a while ago I don't really know why I have my gloves on, I'm being honest with you. Get more to feel, I guess. I don't want to lose them. So might as well wear them, you know? I think I'm going to take these gloves off. Not comfortable. At all. Whoa, that thing feels a little fast. Cover them up so don't lose them. pretty cool I see so many people driving these I drove one 
I don't even know if I finished talking about it. I drove one for my 20, I, 24th, 5th birthday. 23rd maybe, I don't know. It was a birthday. And uh, I really didn't like it. I felt like it was, I mean it was a rental so everybody was like going through them. You know, hard. But these are demos so these are a little bit nicer. Oh, great news. See it's 12.15 right here? What time is it? 11.46. 12.15. S1000RR people. The next test drive will be on an S1000RR. I guess we're not turning there. A lot of test drives went that way. I don't know. Would I ever buy one of these? No, absolutely not. This is very boring uh, of a test drive, but uh, we'll see y'all on S1000 Double R. Cannot wait. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you S1000 Double R. I think it's a comp package with all the M stuff on it. Oh, this is exciting. This is literally a dream bike. Oh man, this thing feels crazy. Oh boy. Oh boy, she feels good. See, I try to tell everybody. You know, get your motorcycle license. Because you can do stuff like this, but nobody wants to listen to me. I can't believe people get these and then they, you know, tune them and they're over 200 horsepower wheel that's crazy and yeah, this guy in front of me went right for the black one I, I was kind of you know well whatever I can get I'll get but um, he went right for the black one I was like I'll take the competition feels so good oh my goodness overall I mean this thing feels great I'll let you know uh, in a little about the uh, rating. But right now, that Busa man got my heart. That thing's at number one at like a nine and a half. And then the M1000, I think I put it at a nine. And then that MT10, you can keep it, brother. <laughs> She's all yours. Then we'll be ranking this in there somewhere. I've, you know, I'm just looking at him, it's like, man, that thing looks really uncomfortable. I mean, power feels great. Torque feels great. It definitely gets you in trouble, that, that's for sure. Uh, seat's pretty comfortable. I mean, of course, I'm only doing like 20 miles, so I can't say like big, big numbers, you know, what it would feel like afterwards. But, I mean, you could kind of tell right away if a bike's going to be comfortable or not. And this doesn't feel like it'd be that much of an issue. Man, I gotta get a quick shifter on my bike. I'm being spoiled out here. They got a race mode. I'm not gonna put it in that. I'm just keep it in dynamic. Oh, oh baby. Oh, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm all smiles on this thing, too. BMW just has it, man. They just, everything. Power, torque, quality, electronics. I mean, it's hard to beat them. It really is. Oh, they don't do highway no more? Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah. This thing's got the beans. Oh my goodness. Alright y'all, so I got a rating. I'm going to rate it right at a... I'm going 9. I'm going 9. I'm going to put it below the Busa. Um, it feels great. I mean, it's very, very beautiful motorcycle. A lot going on. The electronics and all. But I don't know. I just feel like the boost had a little bit better seating position. Um, 
seat was a little bit more comfortable i'm not saying this is not comfortable but it was a little bit more like a couch you know what i mean it was a really fast couch but yeah this thing's got it going on an absolute dream to be able to ride one of these maybe even have one in the future who knows oh yeah man i'll tell you what feels so good you, you really do get what you pay for but we'll resume on the next test drive we'll see you there so we uh missed out on the kawasaki test ride we were watching a monster energy uh, stunt show which was crazy but now We are on a DRZ 400 Supermoto bike I looked at a while ago, uh, trying to get before the Jixus, but I never test drove one, so it's a perfect opportunity to do that. It's so weird because we just got done watching the stunt show. I'll throw some clips up now. I can't play the audio because it's all copyrighted stuff, but uh, watching these people throw 450s up in the air is just insane, and then driving one of these. It feels cool to ride one, though. I don't know. I like it, though. I mean, if I was looking for, like, a little putt around town little wheelie monster would definitely be this i just feel like uh mc07 for that type is just it's a little too much i thought the tires would feel weird but man this thing corners pretty well i can't lie it is a dirt bike at the end of the day with street tires on it Man, this thing needs another gear, Suzuki. Come on. Come on. Fuel injected at six speed. I swear to God, I'll buy one right now. This thing feels good, though. I, I was kind of nervous because I was sitting on like 450s and 250s earlier. And they're kind of high. This is definitely lower, which is good. I can fit. I can sit flat footed on it. I mean, it's not bad. It's got torque. It can get you where you need to be. It's just maybe not in a hurry as much as others. Oh, this thing definitely needs some power mods for sure. So I try to like sit here and say, you know, could I see myself riding one of these? And I'll tell you over all the bikes I've ridden, I could definitely see myself on one of these. I could see myself on an M1000. I can see myself on a Busa for sure. Um, what else have I rode? Drawing a blank. Uh, 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 uh. I could not see myself on an S1000RR. I'm just going to be honest. I, I went in with that being like my dream bike. And I, I don't know, man. It just felt like... It's just too much. It's kind of uncomfortable. So I'm gonna do a little rating here. I'm gonna get back to enjoying the test drive. I would give this a solid eight and a half. I put it uh, third on the, um, put a third on the test drives. Um, if it was six speed and fuel injected, we wouldn't have, be having this conversation right now. Oh no, someone go down. Oh no. They all right? Oh man. Prayers to that guy. I don't know what happened. But we will see y'all on the next test drive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day three. We are going to Honda to do a long test drive so hopefully today 
we can get on a 1000 or a 600 or some kind of super sport and get a real feel so I really don't want a super sport by the end of this trip oh you're also probably wondering where'd your mirrors go well last night I was doing a pool I raced a uh, I don't even know what it was, that SRT10 pickup truck, and my whole mirror just went loose. I put them on kind of half, you know what, uh, I don't know, man. I've just had no luck with mirrors, so I'm just going to take them off for a little bit. You know what I mean? Mirrorless. Weight reduction. But lately, my luck with mirrors has been an absolute all-time low. I wanted to change it up from the bar end so I could do the lever guards. They've been cool and I really like to have like a stem mounted mirror, but just stuff we have to keep looking into, you know? So we're almost pulling up here to Honda. We're gonna get signed up and then we will resume when we are on a Honda. All right, so we are on a 2023 CBR 1000 double R. couple things I don't like about this if I was to spend the money on it this horn and this turn signal are in the worst spot ever I think I've hit my horn like three times just trying to turn on the turn signal and uh, it doesn't have a quick shifter which if you're spending that kind of money on a 1000 you probably want a quick shifter but it's all right Honda it's all right this thing is beautiful though beautiful piece of equipment I like that it shows you your revs in actual numbers. Something you don't see a lot. So apparently this is a lot uh, longer of a ride, which is dope. I've noticed, I don't know what it is lately. Like, I, I'd like to drive a Gixxer 1000 just to see if this is true. But I feel like every 1000 clutch release is like almost at disengage. Like, I don't really understand that. Like, BMW is just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's like all the way at the end. I really like the 600s, how they have the uh, undertail exhaust. I feel like they never went away with that. Just pretty cool. I did see in the showroom they had a CBR 1000 Triple R Fireblade. SP, which is insane. Beautiful motorcycle, $30,000. Excuse me. I mean, I'm far from getting a 1000. It's kind of like being in diapers and wearing underwear. You know what I mean? It's just you're not ready for it yet. Which is good. I say take your time with these. I mean, they're always going to be there. Perfect example. All these influencers I keep seeing that go from like a 400 inch to a S1000 double R. Do you not see a problem there? Like honestly, if someone thinks that's a good idea, you are out of your mind. For me, what would be like very good step up? Let's just say you wanted to stay sport bike, right? I would say start out on a 400 Ninja. I would then go to uh, 6R, once you're comfortable with a 400, then from the 6R I would go like Jixxer 750, and then after the Jixxer 750, you've had that for a while, then I'd go 1000. But to go from, you know, 500s, 400s, 500s, right to 1000s is just incredible. Yeah, you might be able to do it, but I can guarantee you're not as comfortable as you think you are on it. No way. I could get a 1000 right now, you know, but I just do not feel comfortable in my mind to do that. I mean, I'm even skeptical going to Jixxer 750, and I have a Jixxer 750. So what's that tell you? But uh, I'm just trying to look out for people, you know. I don't want to see someone get hurt off making a decision too fast. This thing roars like crazy. Oh, my God. Ay, ay, ay. What is this? Tree work. Oh, my God. I don't know. I do like Honda 1000s. A lot actually I like how the new ones look 
I don't know, but the ZX10 double R looks good. Oh my god. Chixer 1000 looks real good with that new improved front end, the facelift that they did. So I'd really like to go from this right to a Chixer 1000. That would be like no brakes. Just to see what's what's better. I don't really have any complaints on this so far. I mean, the only complaint is no quick shifter, which I don't think that's that big of a deal. I mean, you could really put one on if you wanted, or maybe it's an option. I'm not sure. I would assume it is. I'm just going on big boy stuff this weekend. My God, I've been on a Busa S1000 double R, CBR 1000 double R. Oh my god. Screw the middle, man. Just go to the top, you know? But I'm glad I do so I can see what I could grow into, you know? I've been on a lot of test drives and people just cannot seem to get the formation down. I just don't, I don't understand. Oh my god! This thing's serious, man. 1000s are just incredible that they're even legal to ride on the road. You don't need all this power, man. All right, so I think we're gonna wrap it up here. I think I got a good, good enough footage and knowledge of the bike to give it a final, final rating here. I'm gonna give this one a solid nine. I really enjoy it. A lot of power, pretty comfortable, comfortable seat. Just electronics is lacking just a little bit there, Honda, but it's okay. So we will see y'all on the next test drive. I'm gonna say it's a Chixer 1000. Let's see if I'm right. So it is day four, I think. Um, we are on a Chixer 1000. Want to ride one of these for a long time. I've only drove a Chixer 750. But the 1000's kind of seemed like the theme this year. So, uh, I've ridden, of course, the CBR, the S1000, now the Jixxer 1000. So we're going to see how this one compares to the others. Feels good so far. Oh my god. The roar of a Jixxer, you just can't beat that. I was just telling my stepdad because he drove the 750 Jixxer and uh, I don't know, I just feel like the 750 just got left behind, you know. If they did all like the TFT display and the um, quick shifter and all the new front end stuff they have on this, I'd buy one in a second. But they just, I don't know, they just leave it behind. I, I don't know why I don't get it. Quick shifter feels worlds apart from Yamaha. I think the best quick shifter has to be BMW. I'd have to say I think Suzuki is probably right under BMW. This thing does feel good. Can find neutral pretty well. BMW is kind of hard to find it, but once you find it, you're in there. You're good. Yeah, quick shift, it does feel good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I really like this display on this. It looks really, really good. It's very easy to see too. You'd think it's because it's darker, it's hard to see. But no, Suzuki did a really good job on that.
don't want to get in trouble revving back at him. Come on now. Scared me a little bit, can't lie. Wasn't expecting it. Try to get this thing higher up in RPMs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now he just did a wheelie on an 8S. What in the world? You're supposed to be doing that, sir. You can't do that, sir. I'm telling them. I'm telling on you right now. I'm just joking. I'm not telling on him, even though I hate the 8S because it replaced my bike. But it's all right. Do they kind of lower this already? I never realized how low the bars are. Whoa, boy. Oh, my God. That thing felt ignorant. Oh yeah, boy. It's hard to tell, but I think I'm leaning towards Jixer over the CBR. I don't know. Can't beat that intake sound. All right. Suzuki route's pretty nice, I can't lie. You like go out on the main road. We're gonna try to give her a little bit of beans here. I feel like they kind of did the CBR dirty because there's no quick shifter. And I don't know. I feel like they kind of did that bike dirty for the, for the demo rises. I know they have quick shifters on them. There's no way a 1000 at 16 grand ain't gonna have a quick shifter. Come on. I mean, even if it didn't, it's not the end of the world, but it's like, come on, Honda. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing's got baked beans. See, I feel bad doing this, but I'm going to put this above the CBR just because, I don't know. I mean, I feel like the Honda's just lacking stuff, and this stuff... This bike just feels like at home, you know? Like I don't feel foreign on this bike at all. Like I said, it's really comfortable. Hate to do it because I was really liking a CBR, but it's all right. But we will see y'all on a, who even knows? Future k Dog, take it away. Gotta show them, you know what I mean? Chicksis is here. So we're cutting out a couple test rides and we're gonna go to this one Harley dealer that's having bikini bike wash because you know I'm trying to see that, you know what I mean? And my bike's dirty. So What in the world? Wow. Just want to give you all a uh, look at Main Street here. You got Trump doing a wheelie. So many people down here. Such a beautiful day.
were finally able to get the bike washed. I will roll the B-roll now. So I gotta say a huge thanks to Savannah for taking the time to talk to me. She's a fellow sport bike rider with the Ducati. Very cool girl. Bike is clean, looking tremendous. You know that that's one thing off the bucket list. Something I've always wanted was to get my bike washed, like a bikini bike wash. So there we go. For, it was like 45 minutes from Daytona. So we came out here and it was like a totally different event. I mean, it was like Daytona Junior, you know what I mean? So much going on. It was very cool. A lot of vendors. So we're running out of uh, daylight here. Not really anything left on the day. But we will see y'all back tomorrow. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, first off, we're going to this, uh, the burning bike. You sign anything you want to say to your loved ones that is passed on on the bike and they burn it and it goes up to heaven. Pretty cool concept. Really want to be a part of that. We're going to go there. Might go to another dealership, look at some bikes. Just have a chill day. Bring you all along for the ride. Still can't get over how good that Jixer felt yesterday. Definitely my favorite 1000, but not my favorite bike because favorite bike Definitely the Busa. Thing got my heart. Oh yeah. Get that first pool in the day. Love that. All right. Bike statue is where? I don't see it. Oh, I see. Oh, I see it. If you look right over there, you see the guy riding the bike. Oh, that is so cool. so we're leaving as you can see I'm going to be burning that thing tonight I'll throw up a picture of what it looks like when it's burning we're not going to stay around just, I don't know, a bunch of drunk people and a fire really ain't my scene so I'll just look at pictures I did write a note to the loved ones so that's all that matters well guys it is the last day uh, the Jixus is looking a little different this morning. I think I got on the wrong motorcycle, but it is okay. Now, we are one more day in Daytona. Got the word that our job's starting a day later, so I'm able to stay a day later. Everything lines up. It's great. So instead of staying away from Daytona, we are actually going to stay in Daytona tonight. So that is pretty cool. Pretty excited about that. Um... This thing's fun, man. I like it. 03 Dyna Low Rider. Just feel like I blend in. Feel like my wife hates me. I'm playing. Stop. Stop it. I'm kidding. Feel like I just got divorced. Need to go listen to country music. Flip off all the sport bike riders. I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. It is a nice ride though, I will say. It's very comfortable. It's got mirrors, I love that. It's got a little cruise control here. You can be cruising for a bridge. Let's wave to this guy. All oh, right. Harley riders don't like Harley riders. What's up with that? I think you can tell because I have a full face helmet on and all my gear. There's no way a Harley rider could do that, right? 
He's like, that guy's undercover. I'm not waving to him. I'm determined. And it's three minutes to get to the hotel. I'm getting away from a Harley rider. It's kind of sad. It's our last day. But it's okay. No one's going to wave to me. Not one person. It's fine. I'll remember that when I want to get my Harley down the road. This thing is really fun, man. It really is. It's loud. It's obnoxious. It's comfortable. Kind of like an ex-girlfriend, you know? Oh, I'm kidding. Let's stop. It's joke hour. <laughs> well, we will resume this when we get back on the Jixus. God, there's so much going on. Well guys, it's been a crazy adventure. Oh my goodness. Wild week, weekend, all that good stuff. But I think we're gonna say uh, goodbye here. So if you guys like the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, stick around if you're new. We'll be seeing you on the flip side. Peace. Let's leave one more bang at Daytona, all right? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Peace.